Chikungunya virus is transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes, mostly in West Africa. It causes a couple of key clinical features you can remember as JFK's signs and symptoms. Joint pain, fevers, and kumquat skin rashes. Although this virus may not be endemic to your local area now, there's a trend suggesting it might not always be considered a tropical disease, with the CDC saying chikungunya virus poses a threat to the US as suitable vector mosquitoes are present in southern states. As a summary of its pathogenesis, this RNA alpha virus enters the blood after transmission from a bite. It then spreads to and invades the joint synovium and its surrounding muscles. This causes both a local inflammatory response and systemic symptoms after an incubation period of one week. In terms of clinical features, we should consider acute manifestations and chronic manifestations of the disease. Acutely, it causes our classic JFK's features, joint pain, fevers, and kumquat skin rashes. Joint involvement often presents with a polyarthralgia that's bilateral, symmetrical, and distal in distribution. However, axial involvement is common and is actually where the name chikungunya is derived from, meaning stooped walk in the Mekond language. This refers to the incapacitating back arthralgia it can cause. Fevers are typically high grade, above 39 degrees and persistent, lasting for five days. The only way I could get dermatological features to fit into my mnemonic was with the phrase kumquat skin rashes. Please accept my apologies. Skin manifestations occur in 50% of patients, usually in the form of a maculopapular itchy rash on the trunk, resulting in a kumquat-like texture and appearance. Following acute infection, chronic disease may persist, typically with a chronic form of the arthralgia. This phenomenon is especially common in patients with the HLA B27 genotype. When investigating for chikungunya, diagnosis can be made via detecting viral RNA with reverse transcription PCR or serology. For individuals presenting within a week of symptoms, RT-PCR is highly specific and sensitive. Serological IgM and IgG testing is preferable after this period. More broadly, testing for dengue and Zika virus infection should also be pursued because they're great mimics of acute infection. Its management can be divided into prevention, acute treatment and chronic disease management. Prevention comes from mosquito protection and vaccination. Minimizing mosquito exposure and using appropriate clothing protection and repellents is key in endemic areas. Although not ubiquitously available at the time of recording, a live attenuated chikungunya virus vaccine was approved by the FDA in 2023 and is highly effective. Acute disease treatment revolves around supportive care with paracetamol, NSAIDs and fluids. There is no specific antiviral therapy for acute chikungunya virus infection currently. Chronic arthritis, defined as a duration of greater than three months, is typically managed with DMARD therapy. Methotrexate is the most commonly used DMARD, typically using the same approach as the rheumatoid arthritis. Let's summarize with my mnemonic. JFK's signs and symptoms, joint, fevers, and kumquat skin rash, which can all be managed supportively. Thanks for watching Townsend Teachings.